you guys doing? Chris Ignato and thanks for stopping by my channel once again. So here's another video on redback salamanders and I see these guys all the time which is why I don't really film them that often. So check it out. Hope you enjoy. This is the redback salamander. Uh, I think they're called Plethodon Cinereus or something like that. Not... Now, they're actually a lungless salamander, even though you don't find them in the water. They do breathe through their skin. That's pretty neat. Some salamanders have lungs, some do not. I do find them throughout deciduous forests, under rocks and logs and leaves, and especially on hills, especially hills with rocks and logs. What a neat species. They come in two different variations too. The red back face like you see here with a red stripe. Sometimes they're actually completely red. And then you have the lead face which I'll show you in a couple minutes because there's one right beside this. Really neat thing I've read about these is the lead back face actually flees from predators. They're a bit more skittish and I think that's because the red represents an aposomatic coloration. I guess they're toxic or foul tasting. Um, but the lead face has no way of showing that, so it flees. They're a lot more skittish than the red face. Check this out. Something else really neat about them that I read is the fact that they have a special compound in their skin that produces a chemical that is, that is actually in a fungicide. It's actually antifungal. Um, because, as you know from some of my other videos, that there are fungi that affect amphibians, and it can really wipe them out. Pretty cool. So there you have it. Probably the most common salamander in my region, redback salamander. Hope you guys liked the video, and uh, until next time, Chris Ignato, signing out.